Hey everyone, welcome back to another fighter request. And for today, we'll be using that man, Dan Henderson, who has also been very heavily requested on my channel for, for quite some time now. As you can see right there, he has got Game Changer level 4, Vengeful level 3, Opportunist level 3, Heavy Hands level 5. So he is a powerhouse. Now, I believe I have used Dan Henderson maybe once. I that That is a fight that I did lose. Um, I really did I really did not feel um, comfortable using Dan Henderson you guys already know I love to move I love fighters that are fleet-footed and Dan Henderson feels very flat-footed to me but that is exactly how he should feel okay and uh, of course we are facing Chris Weidman there is no surprise there um, Dan Henderson is really not a fighter that uh, is known for movement he's not known for footwork um, he is known as that guy that always has a puncher's chance, even when he is facing guys that are more technical, guys that are faster than he is, guys that are more conditioned, guys that just have overall better mixed martial arts skills. Dan Henderson has always been that guy that you just do not want to get hit by. It doesn't matter how good you are, you don't want to get hit by by Dan Henderson because it, it only takes one bomb and he puts your, light, your lights out. And I feel like EA Sports UFC 2 kind of represents that fairly okay with Dan Henderson he is very powerful so uh, let's see what we can do against this Chris Weidman can do here he's moving his head catch him with that one right there uppercut We're tagging him a little bit. Okay. He's going for those combos. Alright. Hitting him. With as much as I can. Caught him with that one. He swayed against that. Caught him with that. Okay. He's got wide men. Okay, we're landing some nice shots in there. Yeah, watch out for those head kicks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, every strike ends with, the, with that lead head kick. And Weidman is so tall, even when I try to move away from danger, he can still hit me with those. I mean, it's like he can hit me with kicks from eight, from like f so far away. And all I can do, man, is just try to survive here. Head kick. You know, Dan Henderson is also a wrestler. You know that? He's no he's not just a guy who's supposed to have a puncher's chance. Wow, man. Unbelievable. Okay. All right. This is going well so far. I'm trying to be very careful to not get hurt. I don't want to get hit with a magic combo. He is throwing those magic combos over and over again. Always ending his combinations with the lead head kick. That's a very tricky strike to, to uh, defend against. But as long as you're aware of what he's doing. And you know that he's either going to end with a, a body kick or a head kick. You can, you can kind of prepare for it a little bit. 
So I feel like I'm doing well with my defense. I am mad we can touch gloves. Uh huh. Leading, end him with the head kick. Caught him with those. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. As long as I can maybe the get the heck out the way a little bit. Of his Move. Nice knee the body. Yeah. He was able to block that big punch to the head. Boom, right on the button. He's throwing some nice combos and landing some up. Move. There we go. Check that one. That's a solid straight. He's looking for a right hand. Mike. Okay. Yeah, he's starting to he's starting to rip it. Head kick is coming. Let's be careful with it. Caught him with those. Good. Just keep landing that nasty. Keep landing that nasty body kick, that nasty body punch. It's a significant strike. He's trying to parry though. We need to be careful with that. Move. Yep, I knew that was coming. Head kick. Where's he going? That way. Oh, he landed it. He landed it. He stood up. He landed it. He's looking. It's okay. Dealing with dealing with these combos are tough. He took me down. All right. He was able to land. He was able to land that magic combo. I need to see if I can hurt him a little bit. I don't know, man. I don't know who's winning the fight. Nah, I can't look right now. I don't know who's winning. I really don't. I feel as though I have landed some really. Some really nice combinations on him. Gets hit with that left kick. Big kick. Oh, nice. Great long as well. Man, speed difference is killing me, dude. Wow, dude. Oh my goodness. Man. Yeah. He beat me. Yeah. It's hard to deal with. It's really hard to deal with. Chris Weidman is so long. It's all right, though. It's okay. Good job. You got you got me on that one. We're gonna I'm gonna run run this fight again. I I wanna try to get a win with Dan Henderson. So uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, we are right back with Dan Henderson and uh this time we're facing Hoist Gracie. It feels uh, it feels pretty good getting some variety in here. As opposed to uh Chris Weidman and Luke Rockhold over and over again. So uh let's let's have some fun.
Let me see what this horse Gracie wants to do. He might try to uh, get the... F oh, nice. Okay. He's leading with that. It's a very good strike to lead with when you're horse Gracie. Play that distance game a little bit. Going for the body kick as well. Okay. He sways back and then goes for the body kick. I feel a little bit of lag in there. That I don't like at all. Caught him with that. He's hurt. Got him down. Let me see what Horse Gracie can do here. Okay, single leg. He's he's being pretty aggressive. Guillotine. Wow, dude, I, it's like going for a guillotine even before like this this what this guy is. Can we can we sub him? Okay, we are back to side control. Half guard. Good move, side man. saddle. I'm feeling the stat difference on the ground against Horse Gracie. Let's posture up a little bit. Dude, I cannot posture up on time. All right, it's over. It's over. I don't like that fight. I don't like that fight. That was, uh, it was, you know, the variety was good. The variety was really fun, but that was an easy fight. Let me, let me get one more. Let me get one more fight with Dan Henderson. I will be right back very soon. All right, we are right back. Hopefully we get some variety. I really don't want to face Chris Weidman or Luke Rockhold. I really don't. We're facing Uriah Hall. That's good. Okay. Uriah Hall. We might have to pull out the clinch and the uh, takedowns on this one a little bit. Remember, Dan Henderson is not just a knockout artist. The man is a Greco-Roman wrestler as well and a very good one. He doesn't want to touch. Maybe he wanted to touch, but um, he didn't think about it. What is he doing? Got him in there. Ooh, he took me down. I did not expect him to go for that takedown right away. Smart man. See. Took him down. Bring that Greco Roman in there. Come on, man. Don't just lay there. Okay. North South. Guillotine. Oh, come on. God, I hate when I, I, I hate when I do that. I freaking hate when I do that. I need to try not to do that again. Okay, 
he's being very, um, I think he's being very, uh, what is, what's the word I'm looking for? Desperate now. All right, we, we took him down again. What is he doing? Wow, he got the reversal. And we are up. Almost. He's going to pop right up. Is he? Backside. Okay. Let me get to north-south. I wonder what he's going to try to do. North-South choke. Hmm. Too fast. Too fast. Took him down one more time. Dude, I am just... Nice. Take him down one more time. That's a lot of takedowns, man. He's up. All right. Let's move forward a little bit. <laughs> okay. This is a fun fight. I don't think my opponent is that good, but that's usually what happens. You know, good players, good players in EA Sports UFC 2 don't usually take risks. They don't usually want to go for different characters. They, they usually use higher rated characters, which is, which is you know, it's, it's unfortunate because a lot of these guys are good enough. A lot of these guys that use Wide Man and use Rockhold, they are good enough to use and not not just use, but win dominantly with lower rated characters. Like if you're good at this game, you are good enough to do very well using lower rated characters, you know? But I think they're just afraid of running into other good players using high rated characters that they're just like, you know what? I'm just gonna use high rated characters to make sure that I give myself enough advantage. I think that's just what it is. Almost caught me with that. Oh my goodness, he actually did. Oh my goodness. He's throwing it again, dude. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. There's a speed difference. It's like closing the distance on him is like walking into a wood chipper. Okay, I'm going to push forward a little bit on this guy. Man. Let's push forward a little bit and see what we can do. Use my head movement. Okay, let's see. Let's push. Back him up a little bit. Looking for that. Push. Push, Ben. I mean, push, Dan. Push. 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 Push, baby, push. Keep, keep moving forward. Move forward. Caught him with that. He's hurt. He's hurt again. Dropped him. Fight is over. This fight's done. All right. It's over. It's over. We pushed forward and got him out of there. He wasn't that good. He, was, he really wasn't that great, you know. Um... 
Well, there you go. At least you guys got a variety. The first fight I, I had, I faced a decent player. That white man player was, he was decent at best. He really was. Um, he was throwing a lot of magic combinations, but those combinations he was throwing, um, they're not that difficult to deal with if you were using a player that's um, on par with the player he had. If I had a guy like uh, Luke Rockhold, I would have got him out of there. But um, he was able to get me with... Um, with those magic combinations, you know, it was a good fight. It was a pretty good fight. I, I, I liked it. I hope you guys did as well. And then the last two fights were kind of easy, but there, there you go. Um, a few fights with Dan Henderson, whoever it was that requested Dan Henderson. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope I did him justice. Hope I fought like Dan Henderson fights in real life. If I didn't, my bad, but I did my very best. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you guys in the next feature, not featured fighters. That's coming soon, but I'll see you guys in the next fighter request. The next fighter I'm going to bring you guys is Vitor Belfort. I know Vitor has also been requested. Vitor is coming in the next few hours. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and uh, as always, stay safe. Much love.